वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर थर्ड सेमेस्टर मेकेनिकल एंड ऑटोमोबाइल स्टूडेंट टूडे आई विल डिस्कस सम टू टाइप ऑफ मार्क टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एबाउट द चैप्टर थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज कंप्रेशन रेशियो कंप्रेशन रेशियो इट द रेशियो बिटवीन इट इज द रेशियो बिटवीन टोटल सिलिंडर वॉल्यूम टोटल सिलिंडर वॉल्यूम टू क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम मैथमेटिकली मैथमेटिकली आर आर मींस कंप्रेशन रेशियो कंप्रेशन रेशियो इज इक्वल टू भी बाय बी होयर भी इज इक्वल टू टोटल वॉल्यूम टोटल वॉल्यूम भी इज इक्वल टू क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम दैट मींस आर इज इक्वल टू भी प्लस भी एस बाय भी बिकॉज भी इज इक्वल टू भी प्लस भी एस देर फोर आर इज इक्वल टू भी बाय भी प्लस भी एस बाय बी दैट मीन्स भी एस बाय बी और वन दिस द कंप्रेशन रेशियो नोट नाउ आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज पिस्टन स्पीड पिस्टन स्पीड इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द पिस्टन इन यूनिट टाइम दैट मीन्स पिस्टन ट्रेवल्ड In now I will discuss what is piston speed. Piston speed is the distance travelled by the piston in unit time. Generally, time is taken as one minute. Hence, distance travelled by piston in one minute is known as piston speed. Mathematically, mathematically. पिस्टन स्पीड इज इक्वल टू टू एल एन मीटर पर सेकेंड हो एल इज इक्वल टू स्ट्रोक लेंथ एन इज इक्वल टू आर पी एम ऑफ द इंजिन फॉर क्लियरली इट हैज बीन रिटिन इन दिस स्पीड नाउ आई विल डिस्कस Define stroke length. Generally, it is the distance travelled by the piston from one of its dead center positions to another dead center position. This is represented by L. That means stroke length means it is the maximum distance travelled by the piston from one of its dead center. Dead center means top dead center to another. dead center that is bdc bottom dead center this is the piston cylinder arrangement here it is the piston this is the cylinder head this is the top dead center this is the bottom dead center stroke length means when the piston moves from this position to another position it is generally denoted by denoted by l for your reference नाउ आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम व्हेन द पिस्टन इज एट टॉप डेड सेंटर देर इज सम वॉल्यूम और देर इज सम गैप बिटवीन द पिस्टन एंड सिलेंडर हेड दिस इज नोन एज क्लीयरेंस वॉल्यूम and it is denoted by bc here this is the cylinder head this is the clearance volume that means when the piston is at top dead center there is some volume or there is some gap between cylinder head and piston this is known as 
क्लियरेंस भलो इट इज जेनेरली डिनोटेड बाय वी सी फॉर योर क्लैरिफिकेशन इट विल बी सीन इन दिस टाइप सोड भलूम मीन्स द भल्यूम सोड बाय द पिस्टल व्वेन इट इज मुव टू एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन दैट इज टप डेड सेन्टर एंड बटम डेड सेन्टर इज नोन एज सोएफ्ट भल्यूम जेनेली इट इज डिनोटेड बाय भि एस एंड इट इज द प्रडक्ट अफ सिलिंडर बोर सिलिंडर बोर एंड स्ट्रोक लेंथ इज इक्वल टू एरिया इन टू एल इज इक्वल टू पाए बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर एल इज दैट इज नट सिलिंडर बोर इज द एरिया ऑफ द सिलिंडर एरिया ऑफ द सिलिंडर एरिया ऑफ द सिलिंडर इन टू स्ट्रोक लेंथ दैट मीन्स एरिया ए स्ट्रोक लेंथ एल एरिया इज इक्वल टू पाए बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर इन टू एल फॉर Clearly, it has been written in this way. B S is equal to pi by four d square L. Now, I will discuss, state, and explain first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics states that whenever there is a cyclic process of a closed system, mechanical work done is directly proportional to the heat transfer. According to the law. of thermodynamics w is directly proportional to q where w is the work done and q is the heat transfer mathematically w is equal to j q or j is equal to w by q where j is a constant known as mechanical mechanical equivalent of heat again i will i will say that first law of thermodynamics states that whenever there is a cyclic process of a closed system mechanical work done is directly proportional to the heat transfer or w is equal to jq or j is equal to w by q what is j j is a constant known as mechanical equivalent of heat Now I will discuss zeroth law of thermodynamics. If two systems are separately in thermal equilibrium with a third system, then the two systems will be in thermal equilibrium with each other. Let us consider two systems A and B, which are separately in thermal equilibrium with a third system. that is c that means no heat flows from a to c or c to a similarly no heat flows from b to c or c to b that means no heat will flow from a to b or b to a that is a and b will have same temperature it has been so note now i will discuss what is the relationship between cp cb and r generally the it the, the relationship between cp cb and r is given by cp minus cb is equal to r Where C P is equal to specific heat at constant pressure. C P is equal to specific heat at constant volume, and R is equal to characteristics gas constant. therefore cp minus cb is equal to r is the required relationship 
Now, next question, draw pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram of auto cycle. First of all, this is the pressure volume, PV. One, two, three, four. Temperature entropy diagram. This is the one, two, three, four. Here processes one dash two, one dash two, and 3 dash 4 R 2 reversible adiabatic process adiabatic processes and 2 dash 3 and 4 dash 1 2 dash 3 and 4 dash 1 R 2 constant Volume process. Volume process. Now I will discuss pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram of diesel engine. This is the required pressure volume and this is the required temperature entropy diagram. Here process 1 dash 2. Constant pressure process process two dash three reversible reversible adiabatic process process three dash four three dash four constant volume process process 4 dash 1 4 dash 1 reversible adiabatic compression process compression process for your Kakurada. Next question. Name the air standard cycle for petrol engine. Generally, the air standard cycle for petrol engine is auto cycles. That means petrol engine works on auto cycle. Next question. What is entropy? The term entropy, which literally means transformations, it was first introduced by Clausius. It is an important thermodynamic property of a working substance, which increases with the addition of heat and decreases with its removal. It is an extensive thermodynamic property. Mathematically, change of entropy is given by ds is equal to dq by t, where ds is equal to change of entropy, dq is equal to heat transfer and t is equal to absolute temperature. Next question, in which process work done is zero and how? Generally, constant volume process or another it is uh, said that isochoric process work done is zero because we know that w is equal to p dv is equal to P within bracket V2 minus V1 because dB means change in volume, final volume minus initial volume. Here V1 is equal to V2. Therefore, we can write as W is equal to P within bracket V1 minus V1. That means 0. P into 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, in isochoric process, uh, work done is equal to 0. Next question. In which process 
work done is equal to heat transfer and how generally in case of isothermal process work done is equal to heat transfer because we know that according to general energy equation for non flow process q is equal to del u plus w what is q is equal to heat transfer del u is equal to change in internal energy w is equal to work done we know that change in internal energy is equal to mcb t2 minus t1 since isothermal process temperature remains constant that is t1 is equal to t2 then we can write as q is equal to mcb t2 minus t1 plus w or q is equal to mcb t1 minus t1 plus w because t1 is equal to t2 therefore this term becomes zero therefore q is equal to w hence heat transfer wq is equal to work transfer in case of isothermal process next question define process when a system changes its state from one equilibrium state to another state then the path of successive states through which the system has passed is known as thermodynamic process in the figure 1-2 it represents a process one is the one equilibrium state to the final equilibrium state next question i will discuss what is the difference between intensive and extensive thermodynamic properties with examples generally intensive property which are not dependent of mass or size of the system therefore it is known as intensive property examples temperature pressure etc because it does not depend upon mass or size it is also called as intensive property then extensive property properties which are dependent of size mass and volume of the system are called extensive properties that means extensive property are dependent on mass size or volume of the system examples total volume total energy etc it is also called as extrinsic property next question define thermodynamic system and its types thermodynamic system may be defined as a definite area of a state where some thermodynamic process is taking place generally it is divided into three types such as closed system open system and isolated system here is the system this is the surrounding 